All right, everyone, I'm gonna try to do the uh, front bearing on this um, 2005 Highlander. And the first thing, uh, what I did was I, this is, this is a uh, 12 point, which I've never seen before, but okay, it's a 12 point, so I had to get a special socket for that. So then I was able to remove it. Um, so that slowed me down. But remember, on this vehicle, um, it's a 12 point, not the normal six points. Okay, then I started loosening things up and first thing first, tie rod, usually the hardest thing, so I, I rented one of these things, stuck it under here, and then squeezed it with my impact, and made the tie rod just pop right off, and that was a lifesaver, okay? And then the rest of the stuff, let's disconnect, okay? Back here is an ABS sensor, okay? And then the two clips with a 10 millimeter bolt, and then we can get out of the way. We also have to undo that over here, so let's do that. Okay. Okay. All right. It's a 12 millimeter. Let's see if I can get this. Okay. Get that done. That bolt comes out, and the ABS should be free. There we go. I can just put it up out of the way here. Okay. And 22 millimeter bolts holding the strut in place. And I'm just gonna put a little tidy and then hit it. Ouch. There we go, that's one. And then the other one. There we go. And that's done. Then there are um, three 17 meter millimeter bolts under here. That's easiest if you, without having to disconnect the uh, ball joint. And then let's get the caliper out of the way. And those are, and then we can put that height it up and then we should be able to get to go and get that out of the way. And also remember, uh, these are not alignment bolts. So after you're done with this, you shouldn't have to get an alignment. Just put it back together and you should be okay. Get that out of the way. All right, let's see if I can get to this bolt now. Okay. Then tie this up out of the way. I use a usually use one of these things. I can get it up out of the way. Okay, out of the way. Get the rotor out, and then let's get to work. All right. Separate. Ooh, there we go. And then pull it out. There we go. Now we're ready to go do the hard stuff. Okay, trying to press that bearing out. All right, let's go try that. Okay, on this Highlander, there's this stainless steel ring that's um, right over the uh, the retaining clip. So we have to remove this first and. From trying it, I found that just taking a chisel and a hammer and just kind of working my way around seemed to have done the trick. Okay. Alright, here we go. Just take a little hammer and just take your time. Okay, once you get the clip out, then what you can do is uh, the clip is right in here, and you can see that it's all rusted and stuff. So take the same chisel, okay, and just tap it around to loosen it up. Okay, 
and sometimes just take a little PB blaster and lubricate it as well. Oh no, that's not coming out anytime soon, huh? Let's see. All right, man, that retaining clip, that was seized in there. And I had to just try to get a corner out, lube it, and then just lift it out a little bit, and it did come free, and uh, it didn't break it, so. All right, let's try to take the hub off now, okay? All right, pushing off the hub. Okay, I took the dust shield off so I can bend the, uh, the ball joint up so we can have access and support it properly. And then I'm gonna crank out the, uh, the bearing. All right, the bearings I'm gonna use, I got from Rock Auto, and they arrived in like two days after I ordered them. And they are um, Timkins. Um, and actually made in the United States of America. Interesting, huh? So I wanted something OE quality, so I went with high-end. And these were just not that bad. They were pretty inexpensive for high-quality bearings. They were $26 and change. With shipping, they, it came out to about $30 a bearing and I ordered two of them so um, so that's that's the way we're gonna that's the way we're gonna go and press the hub on Almost there. Throw up for the 